of the show today, we're going to go visit uh, historic Waveland State yes. Park. Uh, Halloween is a special time for those folks, and we'll explain why coming mm -hmm. up in a bit. Yes, and then we also have Deviate Kitchen here with Ooh. us today, a local restaurant. That, deal of the day. Yes, yes. They are half-off dining deal this week here at LEX 18, um, so you can eat there for half-off. And just their whole mission and story is awesome. It's a special place, but the yeah. food is worth everything. Oh, my gosh, it's we'll delicious. Explain it. It's delicious. Okay, dokie, what do you have in your cup today? What are you drinking? A little, a little beverage. Wow. It's diet. Me too. Mm. I keep forgetting to drink something. Why bring it out here? I don't Just know. Just as a prop? Yeah. yeah. I do it on the morning show. Spoiler. Um, <laughs> I never have anything in that cup. Not anyway. Really. All righty. Let's get to today's Hot Topics, everybody. Okay. Hot Topics. The Topics of Hotness. Yes. I so we're just, just going to talk about you. Wow. Let's just talk about... Oh, do you like that? Hmm. Thank you. Hot all righty, this first one is on a very, very sad note. Oh. oh, thank you for that. Finally, when we're done talking about his glory, we take the one here's shot. A, here's a sad note. <laughs> oh. No, okay, well, I guess we really are going to do a sad note. Okay. All right, thank you. Um, okay, you all know the girl here on your screen. This is Sean Johnson, the U.S. Olympian. Olympian. She Gold shared, medal winner. Yes, oh my gosh, she is so sweet. She shared a very personal video this week on YouTube mm -hmm. sharing that she and her husband, she just had a miscarriage. Ooh. Yeah, and, and sharing kind of the whole story of how it went, and look at this. She was so excited over the pregnancy, and so look at that. Mm -hmm. She couldn't believe it, was so happy. But then the video ends with them yeah. sharing that, that um, she lost the baby. Um, very emotional, raw, honest video showing pictures of her going through this line in the bathroom floor. Are some images in it. That's rough. So rough and heartbreaking, but I, I mean, my heart breaks for her. You know, and but again, I think it's awesome that she shared this because there's so many people. Well, that's right because that, that could be inspiring to people yeah. who may have gone through this, and then they've got an example of someone else uh, so they can identify with. Yeah. But it does beg the question, you know, how much do you want to share with yeah. people? Yeah. You know, uh, but she's been in the limelight for quite some time. She has. You know, and this is interesting. I've met her. Have you? A couple of occasions. Oh, I have too, actually. It's now no, just this dawned yes, on I'm you? Yes, I'm sorry. I was so absorbed in the video. Sorry, you go ahead. Sorry. Well, no, you just stole my glory. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> when, when did you meet her? I met her backstage at the CMAs, Country Music Awards, in college. Really? Yeah, I went to MTSU in Tennessee, and they had a partnership with the CMAs Association, Country mm -hmm. Music Association, and we got to work backstage at the awards every year, and she was um, a presenter one year, and I got to meet her teeny tiny. Yes. So nice. She's she'd literally act, talk to me like, like we this were tall. She and, was and so nice. And she's uh, best buddies with a friend of mine, yeah. uh, Mallory Irvin, who was former Miss Kentucky. That's did well. right. And they're, they're like best friends, yeah. and they go everywhere together. Yeah. And together, Mallory and Sean make Six Foot of Fun. Oh yeah, because they are both they're very, both very, very short, teeny tiny people, miniature people. But they were they were great, and they hung, they came to my radio show, I think, oh, wow. one year. We, we got to That's awesome. Chat with them, and I saw her in Vegas in line with her mother because she was a judge you know, for the Miss America pageant. Oh, think, okay. Right, well, she her. is just so awesome. I mean, and just such an accomplished athlete, and just seemed to be such. She a She nice was on person. Uh, Dancing with the Star. Yes, she was. Didn't she win? Well, she may have. I think she, she won. did well. I know that. Yeah, our hearts definitely go out to she and to her husband and her whole family because I mean, yeah. That's that's just so tough for mm -hmm. sure, and she's such a sweetheart. So, well, a Florida woman got more than she bargained for. Her order from Amazon arrived with a little something extra, free of charge. She placed an order on Amazon Warehouse deals for four large storage bins. When they arrived, the bins were loaded with 65 pounds of marijuana. Perfecto. Yeah, the couple immediately called the local authorities after rolling a few, <laughs> and then they—that's not true. That's not true. They seized the drugs. She received. This is nice. A one hundred and fifty dollars gift card from Amazon following that bizarre incident for a little thank you. And I guess we screwed up and all yeah, that. Yeah. Thanks so. for being honest. And yeah, sorry for our mistake. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Sixty-five pounds of marijuana come into your house. What? She's like, I just ordered a crock pot, but thanks. Okay, and what is, what <laughs> really? is this, honey? What do we do with oh this? Oh my gosh! But I love that Amazon gave her that gift card because. Yeah, that's not what she ordered, but yeah, I don't know. I think that's hilarious. Why can't these things happen for us? Who ships that? And I, mean, I guess I don't know. I mean, that, maybe a, that happens all the maybe time. Maybe it was an employee <laughs> at Amazon, or who knows? But yeah. that's not what was supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. All righty, a smart paper airplane. 
This is a new product. It is going viral. Look at this. Believe it or not, the idea is taking flight, as we say. The Power Up Dart can be controlled by your phone. Add a lightweight prop to a paper plane and download the control app. It can even do acrobatic stunts. A Kickstarter campaign for the product started by Power Up Tours Toys is soaring. People have pledged over $1.7 million in support of this product. That's great for crowdfunding. That's, I mean, that's really crazy. good. Look, and did you see on there it said their goal was 25000 Yeah. Well, they've got enough now to uh, launch a company if they want. This I always wondered, crazy. I mean, I guess you could keep that money. If you do some sort of crowdsource thing, yeah. but you really only needed, say, $25,000 yeah. for with the this? startup, what do you do with the rest of that money? You just I pocket it, I guess. It can you pocket it? I would think you have to. They, I mean, you could say it's going for the company, but hey, the company needs to have a uh, headquarters in Cabo. Oh. We need to have several business meetings. We need 65 pounds of in marijuana. In Europe. <laughs> That's right. Just yeah. for meetings. If you're just tuning in, welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome to, to the, the show. show. <laughs> yes. Well, hey, whatever. I think it could be fun. That could be a big fun treat for kids. That would be a fun. I'm trying to think who would buy this. I product. never could. Tom Ackerman can make a really good paper airplane. I never could. Mine huh. never achieved proper flight. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I was never good at that kind of stuff. Yeah, you're a girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. I said that. Oh. That's right. Just said it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, uh, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to get videos of girls making paper airplanes. <laughs> Check this out. Flying like F-22. <laughs> really? <laughs> Let's prove him wrong, ladies. Mm -hmm. All right, I love this. Fiona the Hippo, she's used to the spotlight at the Cincinnati Zoo, but look at this, she's getting even more attention this week. <laughs> After she photobombed a couple's engagement. This, uh, this is Nick Kelby. He proposed to his girlfriend, Haley Roll, uh -huh. recently at the zoo. Their engagement photos were taken and posted on Instagram, and that's when people started freaking out that Fiona was not only in the picture, but right there in the middle, looking as if she's witnessing it, like, aww, along with the rest of us. The couple took some, you know, posed photos with Fiona afterwards, but... I love this. I want to see Fiona in person. Mm -hmm. I have not, and I want to. You wouldn't want to see Fiona if it was in uh, somewhere in the Amazon. True, I would not, because hippos are cute, but horribly mean. Yeah, they're they, mean. They're killers. They are the number one killer as far as mammals are concerned on the planet. Somebody, I, I pointed it out once, and somebody said, no, mosquitoes. Okay, I'm talking about mammals. Yeah. And then Fiona looks cute and adorable, and I think she was curious because that guy looks like he's in a position to feed her. Oh, yeah. You know, uh -huh. so she's going, Yeah, it? she's like, yeah. well, she's adorable. But, I you know, she's probably, I bet if she did get fed, then her little tail was doing this, throwing dung everywhere. That's what they do. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know a shocking nasty. amount about they're, hippo they're culture. Nasty. Yeah. A, a crocodile. I saw a crocodile He's still once He's still try going. to swim through, and I've never seen it. was a mob, ugly riot. Looks like something you'd see from the old day. And a crocodile, is in the, and these hippos were throwing the It's like a 15-foot croc. They're throwing him around and just tearing him apart. It was Where great. Where did you see this? Oh Beattyville. Beattyville. <laughs> No, it was in the, it was on the, one of those the, videos. The, yeah. The thing. The you thing. watch on, the, on your computer. Yeah, the, you know, guys. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Don't make me like an old man. I know I'm what I'm talking about. I'm just kidding. I know, I know. But yeah, I mean, they're just not something you think of as, you know, killers, but they are. No, they will, they'll kill you. They will. You don't want to mess with them. Don't get in the hippo enclosure. So uh, here's something else you don't want to mess with. Uh, you don't get in between Bob Corker and President Trump. Oh, Lordy, this so is getting worse So they're going worse. back and forth tweeting. Corker went on uh, the Today Show. Today? To, yeah, he was today, on this morning. And said the White House should let Congress decide how to pay for his tax cuts. Trump fired back. Trump tweeted that Corker, who is retiring, listen to this, quote, couldn't get elected dog catcher in Tennessee. <laughs> Corker <laughs> took his own Twitter account to respond saying, same untruths from an utterly untruthful president. Hashtag alert the daycare staff. Dead. This is I the leadership dead. in America, ladies and gentlemen. And those are your hot topics. My goodness. What times we are living in.